What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles and today I wanted to talk about and give you some data on American Express retention offers. What is a retention offer? Well, when you first get your card from American Express, you normally qualify for some type of initial bonus. Now, a lot of times this bonus will far outweigh the annual fee, which if you are unfamiliar, American Express will charge your annual fee at the end of the first billing cycle or thereabouts. So it's not at the end of year one, it's at the beginning. So after about a year, you will have used your card and hopefully gotten a fairly hefty bonus. Then you have a decision to make. Is the card worth keeping for a second year? For most cards, yes, they are definitely worth keeping, but you still need to analyze every card to make sure that the value outweighs the annual fee. So last week, the annual fee on one of my American Express Business Gold cards hit, $295. Now that is a substantial annual fee. Today I wanna to talk about the process I went through with American Express and how I made the decision whether to keep the card much easier. But first, if you're new to the channel, we talk about credit cards, points, miles, cash back, and travel. If you're interested in that sort of thing, slap that subscribe button. And guys, as always, at any time, if you get any entertainment or any value out of this video, please hit the like button. It 100% helps us with our YouTube algorithm and it helps me get this content out to other folks who can use it. So before I tell you about the retention offer process, let's do a little background on the American Express Business Gold Card. First off, this card came with a targeted offer of 90,000 membership rewards points for $10,000 spend in three months. Now that is a hefty spend requirement, but that is fairly usual for business cards. So what does this card earn? Now this card is fairly unique in the Amex ecosystem because this card earns four times membership rewards points on the top two categories of spending each billing cycle. Then it earns one point per dollar on everything else. Now to make that make a little more sense, these are the potential categories you can earn four times membership rewards points on. Airline purchased directly from airlines U.S. purchases for advertising in select media, that's online TV and radio. U.S. purchases made directly from select technology providers of computer hardware, software, and cloud solutions. Lots of great names on that list. U.S. purchases at gas stations, a big spending category for a lot of us right now. U.S. purchases at restaurants, including takeout and delivery. And finally, U.S. purchases for shipping. So quite a few categories for a lot of potential bonus membership rewards points. Now with this particular business gold card, gas has been a mainstay for me and at some point I really want to use the card for some online advertising for this YouTube channel. So this card is used by me. So with the points earning in my situation, at this point my card doesn't exactly justify this $295 annual fee. But that's where the card's superpower comes in. It comes with a 25% airline bonus. Now let me explain that. If you book your flight with American Express Travel and you use membership rewards points to pay with points, you will get 25% of those points back. This bonus is available for any first class or business class tickets and any class tickets with your selected airline. If you are an American Express customer, you are familiar with the preferred airline selection every year, and you can get up to 250,000 membership rewards points back every calendar year. And for me, even by using this card only for my secondary carrier, American Airlines, I can get tons of membership rewards points back when booking flights. And before anyone says that's not a great value, remember that these flights, when booked in this fashion, are considered paid flights. So when I book this way, I earn airline miles and I earn progress towards status. In 2022, I'm currently attempting to gain status with both American Airlines and Delta Airlines. So for me, the generous bonus and the potential membership rewards points bonus on flights made this card super appealing, at least in the first year. Well, how about year two? Well, maybe, but most likely for me, that $295 annual fee will be pushing it. So now that this annual fee of $295 has hit my account, 
I'm going to start the process of contacting American Express to discuss some type of potential retention offer. Now, particularly in my case, keep in mind that I have canceled two other American Express business cards very recently, and on those occasions, no retention offer was offered or no retention offer was available. So I used the chat feature to let American Express know that I'm considering canceling this card and the customer service agent on chat very politely tells me that I have to call a different number and speak with a representative. Now, that is fairly rare with me. I normally do all my business on the chat feature, but the agent was very polite and she also told me that this card did qualify for a retention offer. So for me, that's gonna be worth a phone call. And I am someone who really hates and despises talking on the phone. So I call the number and explain everything one more time why the annual fee may not outweigh the benefits of the card for me. And the customer service agent, who was amazing, her name was Crystal, she was polite and she went through the full routine of explaining all the benefits of the card. And I'm quite sure that there are tons of folks out there who might need that information, but most of us watching this channel, we know every single benefit on every single card. And we're really here just to cut the chase and see what kind of retention offer we can get. The call lasts just a few minutes and she says that she would love it if I would keep the card open and she offered to give me a $250 statement credit to keep the card open. Now, your mileage may vary if that is even worth it to you, but for me, I know that I'll get more value for that essentially $45 annual fee to keep the card open. I'm not sure if I would have been given a better offer if I declined, but at the end of the day, I can still write off that $295 annual fee as a business expense. Now, obviously, I'm not a tax professional. I'm not an accountant or CPA. I'm not a professional financial advisor or anything like that. I'm just a working dad with a YouTube channel. So don't quote me on all that good tax stuff. But I know for me, that's how it works. So I took the offer and essentially saved $250 with a quick phone call. So at the end of the day, guys, I would recommend that every time an annual fee hits your statement after the first year to give them a call and ask. It never hurts and sometimes there are some really lucrative offers. I even call for cards that I am 100% keeping no matter what. It's just part of the relationship with American Express. So guys, if you like this content, please consider liking the video. And if you would like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and we will keep pumping out the content. Also, if you're interested in the American Express Business Gold Card or any other American Express cards, check the description below and feel free to use my referral links. It really supports the channel and allows me to make these videos with no sponsored content like that silly app that tracks rewards. So guys, thanks for watching. And if you've stayed around all the way to the end, thank you.